Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries, Heroes of the Inner Sphere modded with Merc Tag. It has been a while since I recorded, so let's get back into it. I also updated Merc Tag, it now works in conjunction with Pilot Overhaul, and I also enabled that again. So we are going to have some more interesting pilots on our side. That's gonna be very, very interesting. I'm very keen to see that. So let's go ahead and do something here, because that's what we are here for, right? Let's take a look at our battle max. Get a little bit of a lay of the land, because uh, I don't really know where we left off last time. It seems like our champion got hit a li little bit. Our left arm is gone, but I think it's just repairable. Yeah, this is... Uh, I mean, those actuators, yeah, they can be repaired. It'll take us a bit of money and a bit of days, but that's fine. We also got the dervish. And honestly, I think I want to actually rebuild the dervish a little bit so that we can have some fun with that thing on the battlefield the phoenix hawk i don't really care about and i do believe the centurion was actually getting a build right now correct i think so so what about the dervish currently it comes with two lrm10 dead fire two srm2s and some medium lasers as well as ammo and 13 double heatsink oh single heatsinks um, two in the legs, one extra in the engine. I mean, 11, 11 plus 2 is 13. That's the thing. Um, I want to make it a brawler. I want to make it a little bit more close range. And in order to do that, we're going to take those LRM10s out. And we're going to take those medium lasers out. And we're going to max out the armor since it wants to be on the front line. Let's do that real quick. And I would say 10 in the back is okay for a 55 toner. Let's make it 12 here in the center. And I think... I want to do some SRMs here. I think we can go to something like 46-ish. Let's get two more down here. Yeah, I think 70 on the front is fine. And now we have like that half of a ton here that we can then fill up with ammunition later. Alrighty. So, let's take a look at what we have. I mean, I already took a little look. So, we got two of these. Actually, we got three of these SRM4s that we're going to put into the May. And I do believe... I actually want to put an SRM2 in here as well, so we have enough room to actually put some ammunition and some cooling into this. So let's take a look and see what we can get here. We have only standard ammo. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, so is that enough? Is two and a half tons enough? Wait, is there maybe something on the market that we can buy? Uh, let me see. We have hypervelocity auto cannon ammo. That's pretty cool. There is dead fire. Oh, it's LRM dead fire. Oh, we also got SRM dead fire. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some of that. That's gonna be really cool. Very good. Now, um, I think one ton of dead fire, and then the rest is just cooling. So now we have what? Three and a half tons for this amount of missiles. I think that's gonna be okay. And I'm using the dead fire just when I'm really getting super close and I just am point blank with my enemy, then I'm loading in the dead fire and then I just gonna brawl because dead fire deals a little bit more damage. It has 50% damage increase compared to the regular SRM and um, it doesn't have a lock on, so that's the drawback of that. But yeah, the rest is just heat management. Actually, I can get another one. And I would say we have a build here, everybody. This looks amazing. I love that. So this should be able to pump out a good chunk of damage. We have 2.6 damage per missile on this. This is also pretty solid with 2.5. Missiles per minute is 21. This is uh, 44. Yeah, this looks great, guys. I think I like this. Yeah, let's go with it. Cool. We got that. Let's also take a look at the equipment market in general. Also, let me go down here real quick so you can see all of that. Um... I'm just looking at things that are more than one tier, all right? Or higher than one tier. Everything else is not really interesting. That's a solid three damage per missile. Those SRM2s are really good, but they are twos. I could add that into my mech that I just built. But it's just a level two. I mean, it's SRM2. It's not really that great. We got some interesting small lasers, honestly. Small lasers early on can actually wreck some stuff. Especially when you get to super close range. Which we could, because I believe the dervish that we are running uh, is running 81, 81 kph, yeah. So there's some interesting stuff, but I think I don't really want to completely uh, rebuild everything. Take a look at barracks. Barracks tell me that... That's 19 out of 31. 
pretty good with ballistics, so you would be a very good champion pilot. That's 15 out of 32. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We are already set. Yeah, that's pretty good. In terms of pilots, we don't need to worry about anything here. It's fine. Cool. That means we can actually go and seek some trouble. And I'm absolutely looking forward to it. Um, where are we? All the way in the southern hemisphere of the inner sphere. Is there anything close by that we can do? Light recon level 40. Is 40 a thing that we can do already? Oh, I think I'm okay and comfortable in the 30s. Maybe 40 is doable. All right, we're going to check this out. We have to. And I definitely want to bring my new fresh mech to the table here. I want to see what we can do with our good old dervish. Just running in and just let everything explode in super close quarter combat. Um, and keep in mind, guys, the time to kill is a bit higher here because I obviously... I don't know if I accidentally or on purpose messed it up i don't know did i even mess it up um or is it just what it is but i think when you start a campaign you can tweak some of these uh values and obviously we take a little bit longer to kill here which is i think fine all right take the contract we are playing light recon okay we have a pretty good base payout here okay let's go with do you hear that my phone is going crazy right now. What? Holy shit. Somebody is spam clicking something right now. <laughs> Alright, uh, tune that down real quick. And we're gonna go with uh, with salvage here. So we have no pilots. That's fine. And I definitely want to play the dervish. And we're gonna bring the centurion in as well. And we need somebody with good missile stats. So who's the best? Obviously Captain Shen Zhang. Correct? Five out of nine? We're gonna make that happen. Alright, Centurion is... I don't know, what is he? LRM-10? I think we made something like LRMs plus some medium lasers out of that. So also somebody with good missile uh, proficiency. I mean... What do we have here? We have the commander, obviously, but... Do I want him on the battlefield right now? Don't die, okay? That's... Uh, would be much appreciated. Here it really comes down to gunnery, as in ballistics and missiles. And the Phoenix Hawk, I don't know. I think I care about evasion a lot, so I'm gonna put Captain or Lieutenant Tate in here. Alrighty. Ready up, 26 days to go. I hope that we don't die. That's gonna be interesting. Alrighty, let's do it. Cool, cool. So, by the way, uh, my, my phone thingy, somebody... Uh, went through my Instagram and kind of liked everything right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty. So, quick setup of weapon groups. I need an Alpha Strike group. I need a Bravo Strike group. Oh, I need to also move while I'm doing that. And if I press Alt 1... Contact. Enemy vehicle. I cannot swap my... Where? What? I cannot swap my, my ammo. Alright, something is wrong. Uh, we got a recon anyway. Oh boy. That's a problem. I don't know what's happening here. We only have ammo in the lag? Wait. Did... Whoa. I see 498 ammo bins or missiles in the lag. In the left lag. What? They are, the weapon pins in the torsos are empty. I have questions. And a lot of them. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, we gotta be very careful with our ammo consumption here. Alright, let's bring that down again. What was going on here? Did I not fill my, my ammo bins? Also, how do we play this? Ah, it's probably best to go there. Uh, I am confused. Now, let's go down here. Actually, no, we can make a... Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where we are going. We have to still go and recon everything. And I think I'm just gonna go in guns blazing. Yeah, it's the only way. Right, friends, help me out, please. Ooh, we need to check this. The whole ammunition situation here. All right. So, SRM carrier needs to go. Also, my accuracy on those SRMs is garbage. It's really bad. 
I still want to stay in motion. I still want to go and recon everything. Leave it to my friends to deal with the mechs and everything. All right. LRM Locust. Easy kill, I would say. All right, we recon that. Cool. Two more outposts, three minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. He has lost his LRMs anyway. We need to do something about salvage though, right? So I'm really hoping that my friends can deal with whatever on my tail and um, they just destroy something that we can then salvage later. Uh-huh. Why is my ammo empty? My ammo bins were empty completely. Still on my tail? Alright, I'm gonna take you then. Hi. Goodbye. Quite dead. And again. And that should do it. Cool. I think heat-wise, we are fine-ish. Not optimal, but fine-ish. Also, I messed up my movement, but it's okay. We're gonna see another tank that we can destroy. Cool. So, 400 meters. Two minutes left. I really gotta get going. Heavy mech! Ooh, it's an Orion. I'm out of here. This is just a recon. I am very well aware that there's an Orion now, and I'm gonna report that to whoever wants that reported. I'm not gonna <laughs> engage that thing, but I wanna take this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we got it. Let's run! Good news is, we are faster than the Orion. What's that? What's that flyer? It's dead! That's what it is. Oh, you are engaging that? Cool, guys. Go ahead. Take it. Ah! I got like one minute left to actually go and see if I can find the last recon spot. And I wonder if we have to evac or if we can stay on the planet a little bit longer. It's an Orion and a Kentaro. And, and then there's still something on my tail that is a uh, stinger, a wasp, actually. Oh. Who lost your left arm? Ugh, there's a lot. There's so much little stuff online. Take the other locust. Again, they're easy prey. They are quite easy to destroy. Oh boy. Man, I really hope the AI can deal with whatever is down there. Alright, I'm gonna play the mission objective though, because we got 55 seconds left. I'm pretty happy that we are running 81 kph actually. Yeah, that's so cool. Alright, 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 almost there. The important thing is to get the objective done, because failing the mission is not an option. Alright, are we done? Go to pickup zone. Yeah, we got it. Alright, I'm gonna check out my ammo count again. It's 200 missiles. This doesn't feel right. There's something going horribly wrong here. Alright. Cool. So, we're gonna take the Spiderling. Yeah, okay. That was the Kintaro. Ooh, that's nice. But they're still on the Kintaro. Man, it takes forever, guys. Come on, try to get it down. I mean, I like to have uh, Rihanna around. That's really good. She's gonna shoot, probably, right? Yeah, our Lepos is helping us. And she is actually in a quite good spot. So, she's gonna deal with all the nuisances here. With all the little ones. That real quick with a bit of a chain fire. Kintaro is still alive. It's crazy. You know what? I want to go back and I want to have a chance to get the Orion. So let's deal with the Kintaro. I even would take the Kintaro. It's your status there. It's all right. The Phoenix Hawk got hit off. Mm, yeah, a lot. So guys, I gave you one job. What about it? Huh? The frames are going down as well. Hey, you got it. Very nice. There's also a wyvern. Uh, whatever, let's get the little ones first. Up. Lag them. Oh, I'm getting a lot of fire now because I'm in the middle of the fight. Right, we got this guy. We're gonna take cover for a second. I also want to get the high ground because I want to know where the Orion went. All right, let's check this out. Focus target received, Commander. I found the Orion. That's for sure. All right. Hey, Lance. What's up? Come on. Get that wyvern down. 
I am getting a good chunk of damage from all of this. Spider is also still here, but I think I want the Wyvern for anything else. Ammo count says 94 missiles. That's not much. I wish I had a bit more so I can shoot more often. Come on, guys, where's the shooting? There's a shutdown mech right in front of you. Yeah, we got him. Um, I don't care about the stinger or anything. Should probably take this. Yeah. All right. Next up is the Orion. I actually want to contest that thing to maybe get it. There's so much stuff still flying around, though. We are almost out of missiles. This might be a situation where we just go. Hey. Hey, Onion. I think... Uh-oh. I think I'm getting attacked. Let's get out of here. So, I have his intention. But what now? It's also a helicopter. Put that thing down. I'm just going for the for the low-hanging fruits, just for the targets that are harassing us. That I can quickly kill, hopefully, with the stuff that I have. Right, got him. Am I out of ammo? No. Wait, what? I got one of my SRMs destroyed. Oh no, machine guns. Yeah, I should probably go. At the same time, we've, we've dealt some damage to the Orion. This is so weird. Maybe my ammo count is broken. It very, very much seems like it. All right. Ow. All right, mister. Let's do some hit and run and miss our target. Uh-oh. I missed my escape plan. <sighs> I think we're investing more than we need to here. It is also extremely interesting to see that my friends are not able to hurt the Orion at all. Like, at all. But I want it so bad. Oh, ammo depleted. Ah, let's go. <laughs> I'm out of here now. All right, this, this is not working. Guys, let's go. I should have gone like five minutes ago. All right. I'm not gonna stay any longer. I'm just going. This is mine. Bam. Nice. Cool. Also, Rihanna is not really helping us. I thought she had some long-range missiles that she could shoot. Actually, they are about to kill this thing. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, yes, yes. You are taking damage. Sure. But I'm willing to invest a little more. I just need to make sure that I'm not getting killed. So I'm going to try to huddle the, uh, the dropship. Ah, there we go. Now the missiles are flying. Great. And Orion is almost destroyed. Ooh, at what cost, though? My mechs are getting thrashed. Uh, he lost his uh, laser arm. Uh, again, I don't really care about this dude. Come on, guys. I give you one job. Do it! Do it now! Come on! Let's crush our enemies and see them driven before us. And here's a lamentation of the women. Oh no. What did you lose, buddy? You lost the other arm, huh? The champion? Yeah. Those arms are beautiful. Come on, it's just a little bit. I need it in my life. Why the hell are you running away, buddy? You have weapons still. Go shoot them. No, 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 no. That's the wrong target, buddy. I gave you the exact order to go for the Orion, not this guy, Orion. Yeah, 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 that's right. A little bit more and we got him. Ah, uh, you can see now the LRMs are flying. Focus target has been there we go. All right, now we can go home. <laughs> Man, if we don't get that thing, that was a heavy investment without any outcome. But hey, it's a heavy mech. I want it. I want to armor up. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Whew. All right. That was a bit rough. Whew. Let's see. Man, fingers crossed that the Orion is on the loot table. Although I don't know if I should pick a... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's completely destroyed. It will cost us an arm and a leg to actually rebuild. But it is an Orion. 
We also find Coventry Starfire. Seven tons. Long range missile system that fires 15 guided missiles. It's an LRM 15. Tier 3. Pretty solid. So I don't see the Orion, but I see a Wyvern that's a 45 tonner that actually is probably better than our Phoenix Hawk. I'll pick it. I also picked the Javelin since we have a Cantina mission for it. And then we have three more picks. Maybe I should get some heat sinks and like ammo because we only, yeah, I'm gonna just pick something up that we want to build into our mechs. I think that's okay. Okay. Man. We got a lot of level ups here because the fight actually happened for a long time. We have a pretty good payout as well and we definitely will get away, uh, uh, give away to Javelin here. Delta Dart. Long range missile system fires five guided missiles. So it's an LRM 5 tier 4. Here, take the Javelin. Very good. Superior detonation. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Whew. My mechs don't look great, don't, do they? No, they don't. However, um, this thing, the good old Wyvern, comes with three energy and two missile hardpoints. And I think the hardpoints are actually quite nicely distributed, right? God, look at all of this here. <laughs> Crazy. Um, it has average quality. But I think as soon as we have to replace a, um, an engine, it's going down by one in terms of quality. So, it came with Endo. Ooh, that Endo steel is a big deal. Can we take it out of here? No. No, we cannot. Um, hmm. Just having Endo steel makes a big difference in terms of weight that we can add to the mech. It's pretty good. Um, also, let me quickly strip the mech. Yeah, we can see it has three energy on the arm and one missile here. A bunch of jump jets. And then a missile in the center. That's an okay, I would say, weapon platform to do some things. And I like some mixed builds in my in my lands here, but I think it might not be it might not be worth actually building this thing and, and making it happen. Because if I want to repair everything, it will cost me 1.4 million C builds for a 45 tonner. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. So we're gonna definitely sell that thing right away. Gives us one point something million C-Bills. That's pretty good. Also, we need to go somewhere where we can repair. Because the repairs are massive. So I'd say we're gonna go back to our initial planet. To Victoria, actually. Because we have a cantina there. And we can pick up some missions. Since we just uh, finished one. And then we're gonna, I would say, go north into the center of the Inner Sphere. And I also need to check my, my ammo count. Because I think there was something off. Because the dead fire ammo was not being loaded. And I think one bin of SRM, regular SRM ammo, was also not being loaded. Alright, let's see. Mac Collector. We got some Zippos here. I'm not really interested in that. These are really good. It's an LRM5 only, but it's tier 5. Collecting two fire starters, though. That's a big investment. That's a very big investment. We will get a lot of money out of this, though. And this is a very good weapon. I'll accept. All right. Cool. All right, so we're going to take a look at this. Where is my ammunition? Maybe I didn't press the button? Maybe I did. Also, this SRM is destroyed now, which is a bit unfortunate. <sighs> All right, let's check the market. Maybe we can find something to replace it with. Got this SRM-2 hub attack. Okay. I'll make this two, then. It's fine. It's one. There's two. All right, that also opens up a ton. I think another heatsink would be actually beneficial for us, so we can pump out more damage over time without needing to cool down. Um, but yeah. Actually, I want this over here. Just to streamline it a bit. Alright. And the two goes in the arm. Alright, so everything is full now. All of the bins are green. Start work. Alright, cool. Did I repair? Yeah, I did. Cool. So, you, my friend, you need another arm. 
Ow. Get those mediums out of here. And get some new mediums in there. And I think we only got tier 1, so that's gonna be everything we got. Very nice. It is an okay build. Cool. And then the funny thing is that the champion's arms are so good for absorbing damage. And they did their job just fine. Also, they are not completely maxed out. The armor in general on this guy is not completely maxed out. It's really weak on the legs. Oh boy. Yeah, we need something like a structural or armor upgrade. And we need an XL engine or whatever. Ah, this is just so much. Also, the gyro. We don't have any gyros. This is a 3-ton gyro. We could probably go a little lower than that. And then armor up. I think ammo-wise, we are okay having two bins here. One bin there. Yeah, I guess it's okay. So I'm thinking. I want more armor on this guy. I also want more cooling. I want everything. <laughs> Damn. This just... It's not good. It's too lightly armored for a brawler. It's... I mean, currently it's a skirmish. I know. Um... How do we get more armor on this guy? Dropping cooling is not an option. Maybe dropping the, the gun for something smaller. Something like an autocannon 5 that saves 2 tons. It's only 2 tons. Actually, it's 12 to... What? Really? An autocannon 10 is 12 tons? Wait, I thought it was 11 or something. I think it's 11 and then the uh, LP-10 is 10. Huh. Interesting. Um, anyway, maybe uh, an autocannon 5 is the better option on this guy. That'll save us 4 tons instantly. Sure. So what do we take? We have that um, autocannon Oriente 110mm. That's a rate of fire of 47 with 1.8 damage per round. Or we take this Pontiac. Damage per round is 0 0.8 but has a rate of fire of 31? So, what's what's the deal of this thing? Max range is 2,000. Let me quickly check that. So, what's the DPS? It should say 1.5. This is 1.3. I like this. Alright, we'll take it. We need 111 mm or 110 mm ammo. Which we do not own. So, we gotta try to find it. Uh, let's go ammo. Let's go there. So we got flak and standard ammo. That's 110 millimeter. Sure. I just buy standard ammo here. And I think it's gonna be two bins as well. So you get that. That. Max armor. Yeah, this is more like it. <laughs> this guy now has some actual armor to it. I love it. Also, let's go there to 12. I think this is also fine on 12 on the back. Cool. Where do we go with that? I'm thinking right now. I mean, we don't need much arm armor. There's nothing in it. So I think we can drop it down to 30. Try to free up another ton to actually get another heatsink in this. And I think the leg armor is fine at about 50... Say 52. Front armor is... 74. And I think we got it. Getting another single heatsink here. Now the mech can actually perform a bit better. And uh, we'll probably not run that much into heat problems, hopefully. Put it all in the legs. That's fine, huh? Is it? Um, uh, the, the engine is way too big. I would love to put a 250 rated engine in there, saving up more weight and then just go crazy on the build. But right now... I mean, right now we got 10 million. We could afford buying things. We have an ICE engine. Not really what I want. It's very heavy. Right? I see engine is 27 compared to the 10. Yeah. It's very heavy. But an ICE engine uses like... Uh, it's, it's not a fusion reactor, if I remember correctly. It's something like a diesel engine that doesn't generate... Um, or that manages heat better. Huh. Yeah. No, we're not taking anything here. It's fine. Cool. Start the work. 57 days. And then we got our friend the Phoenix Hawk. Well... Yeah. Drop the machine gun ammo, I don't care about that. I do, however, care about some energy weapons, so we're gonna take a look at that as well. And you know what? 
I have an idea. We, we got some large lasers, right? Yeah, there's one more. We're gonna put that over here. Give it two medium lasers. And we're gonna... Probably armor up. That's solid. 10 is okay. It's a bit of rebuilding and refitting, I know. But I think it's important. And then we have one ton over that we can use for another heatsink. Dropping the machine guns altogether. I don't think that we need them here. Yeah, alright. Let's go. 70 days! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> alright. Now that we have that straight. Um, this is the same thing that we saw before, correct? Yeah, we don't even get anything here. Let's go ahead and seek some more trouble. Let's go to the star map. Alright, um, there's a uh, mission over here. We should probably take that. So let's go to the new star system. Check out if we can play some priority missions because they give us good money and rewards in general. And then uh, we play something about in the 30-ish bracket. As I was saying, I think this is my sweet spot right now. We could have just dealt with the 40 rated mission by just running away last time. But I wanted to try to play this to the end. Ah, uh, yeah, this is one of those missions where we can choose between factions. I'm gonna go with Debian. I like them more. Alright. That's a tier 40 war zone. Alright. Dervish. Are you filled with ammunition? It seems like it. Alright. It's another tier 40. It's a war zone, so there is gonna be conflict. Running away is not really an option. Uh, but this is so good. The payout is really good here. 22 salvage shares in a snowstorm. It's also gonna be cold. Let's do that. Alright. So, we need pilots, guys. I need somebody, again, with uh, good missiles. Why is this not safe, by the way? Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Um, I'm gonna give you him. Champion is gonna be you. And we have you here. Okay. Everybody's healthy. We have some mechs. Let's get into it. Ooh, this game is hard. So I want to see if we if we do better now, since we have now all the ammo. Hopefully. Do we? Um, and we have a bit more heat management, thanks to the fact that we lowered the rate of one missile launcher to a two. And we have one more heat sink. Okay. Very good. Take a look at that. Yeah, the ammo bins are full now. And if I... Give me a second. Okay, if I press that now... Yes, I can load dead fire. Cool. It's old and the weapon group that you want to change. I want to see what we can do with dead fire. That's a partisan. It's a perfect target for us. But I don't think I'm gonna reach it. Centurion is also shooting LRMs here. That's beautiful. Oh, and they have a medium mech already. It's a Shadowhawk. One of my favorites. Oh, the spread of those are so amazing. Oh, God. Uh, hey, Hawk. I think we got your leg, buddy. That was a through armor crit, by the way. Ow. Yeah, you're taking a lot. I'm also taking a lot of damage. Um, um, the Partisan is not dead yet. Yeah, please shift to my target because the Partisan is giving me hell right now because he doesn't like what I'm doing to his friend, the Shadowhawk. Very good. Shadowhawk is trying to get cover. Hmm, not here, buddy. Not now. I'm going in. Hey, buddy. Suspension damage. Um, he should have a very poor gyro state right now. Right? Alright, moving in. Once more. The spread is so massive. It's redonkulous. Look at this. Let's go, actually, let's go point blank on him. I think that's how we get as many missiles as possible on one target. Alright, cool. <laughs> I didn't even hit that guy. <laughs> oh god. Does it change if I'm not moving? I read something like, auto cannons are more accurate, they have less spread when you're standing still. I don't know if that um, affects missiles as well. I don't know. So here they come. Another partisan. We're on it, Commander. 
Yeah, go in there, guys. We need to take that partisan out quickly. That thing brings a lot of firepower to the table. Look at this. It's four auto cannons. They're just five rated, but still. Man, and those two armor crits are actually quite nasty. Did you see that? He still had armor, and then there was a floating combat text on the right side of the screen that says, Tracks damaged. I'll make a breach here. Yeah. Alright, let's go in. Alright. Very nice. I'll take it. So far, so good. 2 out of 18. Yeah, let's go, guys. We got a Jägermuck on our side. What? Another one? Uh, don't mind if I do. Uh, which ones? That's uh, Igor. Instant, instant uh, prime target here. Yeah. Very good. I hope that my auto cannon 5 and my LRMs are doing stuff here. There we go. Take him out, guys. Can't do anything with my short range loadout. Bam, yeah. More of that. Beautiful. It also gave us another finish of a Cantina mission. We also have some heavy mechs in our bags. An Orion and the Hunchback. We'll take the Hunchback first, because it's a easier to kill target with the bigger gun. Alright, sending in friends first. And I think it's okay if we take some damage. Keeping that Jäger mech alive is high priority, because the firepower that it brings to the table is just massive. Alright, I'll try to go in his back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, buddy. Dead fire! Come on, ammo explosion, something. Ugh, I'm getting shot by the Orion, I know. But I have to just eat that. Go away! Uh-huh. Oh no. Oh, my gyro. I cannot twist anymore. It's uh, impossible. Whoa! That AC-20 makes me immobile. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh my god. I cannot move. That's the worst. Being pinned down in front of a gun like that. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, that was so bad. For me. Alright. Yeah, we got their attention. Oh, go away. Yeah, that's where I want to be. So we try to stay exactly behind that dude. Why am I getting shot at? Who's shooting me? Nobody should be able to hit me unless they are stray shots. Oh god, I think they are. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, now we are getting surrounded. Alright, prime target, the shadow, the hawk. That's my Jägerga, right? Is it? I don't know. It actually looks pretty cool when we are doing things like that. Oh, this is not great. Left side twisting. I have some real problems regarding... Regarding getting shot by somebody! There's nobody around! I mean, Shadowhawk now turned around, but what? Go away, dude. Leave me alone. Alright, I'm gonna duck down to cover for a second, because that's too much for me. So, nobody should be able to target me here, right? Holy. Alright, going in again. Peeking. Whoop. And back. I'm also gonna load standard ammo for the tracking of the stinger here. But now, here we go. I'm gonna try to just skirmish with him a little bit. In the meantime, my friends can do whatever they want to do with the Shadowhawk. And actually, I want to help out here again because he's almost down. Makes a lot of sense right now. Just take down firepower. Um, speaking of, by the way, uh, my firepower is okay-ish, but the cooling is really good. I don't have any cooling problems. So I can always hit down mouse button number one, go alpha strike and have no problems. That partially comes from the environment, of course. But don't go for that from above. Okay. Side is open and they have machine guns. Machine guns are excellent crit seekers. 
Alright, let's go for it. Engaging Lance Focus. Yo guys, do it! Target acquired. Take out the stinger! So the good news is, we have 10 out of 18 targets down already. Additional contacts yeah. just cross the perimeter. So that should be the second to last lance that's coming in now. Or engagement, or what do you want to call it. Targeted battle mech in the area. Targeted battle mech? That seems to be a fire starter then. Right? We just picked up a mission to destroy fire starters. Or pick up fire starters to turn them in again. Javelin. Javelin. Oh, catapult! <laughs> Alright, uh, you guys stay with me. Yeah, I need you to be here. You guys here. Hear her. Yeah, please, thank you. Uh, we want to wait for the light mechs to come in quickly. And deal with them, and then we're gonna go for the cat. Yeah, let's do that. Also, let Irby go in first. Right, I'm sending in my people now. Let's do what we can do, which is wrecking mechs. <laughs> oh. My ammo count is uh, over 9,000, by the way. We still have 1,000 missiles on regular ammo, and then some more for the dead fires. I'm gonna stay also a little bit behind my friends. Change target real quick. Right, and I definitely want to stay out of reach of the catapult. It's not easy because it's a long range build. An indirect firing long range build, but I want to stay in cover so that they don't get a lock on me. Let's see if that's possible. Okay, shoulder down. And I think it's okay to go with the guided missiles right now because I think they just hit more. What are you? Wait, what? Oh, there you are. Hello! I know you! I've seen you before. Please don't crit my things. Yeah, these fights are actually quite dangerous. Because of the of the time to kill. The thing is you cannot easily destroy a prime target with one or two shots and just use your your own aiming skill for your advantage. This is this is so weird. It really feels more like a mech or tank game, obviously, but um I think I'm not entirely sure if I like it. Tangles appear to be bringing in additional reinforcements. All right, let's go dead fire again. Just crushing him with as much damage as we can in point blank range. <gasps> there is something coming up as well. All right. It's a wasp. That's good. Enemy dropship coming in right on top of you. No shit, Rihanna. I've seen it. All right, there's something big coming. Just hope that he cannot get a lock on me at close range. We gotta take him. Now. What about the minimum distance of those things? Uh-oh. Ammo linkage destroyed. Whatever that means. I'm not feeling great here. Oh no, leave me! I am not able to shoot anymore. I need to go. I need to take cover right now. Come on, shoot! Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Right, I'll be going in then. That's what I have. That's my output now. Oh boy. I definitely need cover somehow, somewhere, right now. I am I'm out of weapons. They got it. They they got me completely. That's bad. That's really bad. I need my friends to deal with this now. Holy crap. And that's what I mean, you know? We have way more criticals now. That's the thing that I have to deal with, that I have to get used to, honestly. Alright, so four enemies. Um, uh, honestly? Champion is the biggest one. Completely. Why am I not able to shoot my SRM that I still seemingly have? Ah, it is critical. It is not destroyed, but it is critical, which means that I cannot fire it in mission. But I might be able to repair it in the bay. The others are just destroyed. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh no. 
And yet again, we are relying on our friends to get things done. And I don't believe they can because they are dumb as hell. Ugh. I can't do anything. I mean, I can use my mech to bump into their mech. That's rough. That's really, really rough. What's the status on our mechs? Looks okay. But I'm not sure if we have the firepower to sustain that. Since they, they have a champion, which is, you know, getting beaten up a little bit. But they also got their Shadowhawk, which is really sturdy. And in the meantime, I should really get my guys over to the Stinger with the high laser count. But first, it's gotta be the champ. It has to be. We started it already, and it brings so much firepower. I want to take it out. Is that the right choice here? I'm not sure. I'm doing it anyway. Alright, I'll try to bump into this guy, take his gyro out a bit. You know, make him unsteady, destabilize him a bit so he cannot run that far. Actually, he doesn't even do that. He's really slow. And I might just catch some stray fire here. I'm not gonna take it. This is a guy that I want to have next, by the way. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, he's getting critical. Come on, friends. Nobody uh, really cares about me because I'm not shooting. Enemies always attack enemies, or their enemies, like my friends, um, that are dealing a lot of damage. Go, 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 guys. You can do it. I believe in you. The lag being damaged on our champ is not great because there's ammo in it. Being sock can still take some. Are you done? Come on! Alright, we got some missiles flying at the very least. Legs are destroyed, but he's still up and running, has all of his weapons. It's so crazy, guys. Large laser connected. Yeah. It's good. Wait. No, that was one of our guys saying that. Was the second arm of the champion. Right? Ooh, this is really weird. We've got a crit on the engine. It's one. We need like three of them in order to take the mech out. Friends, are you shooting your weapons, please? No. You heard the commander. Take that target. You know, just do it. Trying to say that they should attack all the time. Maybe that's the thing that makes them shoot. I'm just gonna spam that. Here we go. We're on it, Commander. Hello? Priority target received. Cool. He's almost done. Target Problem is, one. we still got that Shadowhawk on the board, and until he is dead, there's nothing we can do. Anyway, uh, Stinger next. Absolutely the Stinger. He comes in with so many lasers and is so, so unarmored. Phoenix Hawk is about to lose the weapon. It's a significant DPS drop if it happens. Next up is the Shadowhawk, and I think. I'm gonna do the whole uh, bump into him and take his gyro out thing. Let's go. <laughs> uh, the hawk is getting a good chunk of damage though. So let's see if the friendly fire is actually hitting us or not. Hey buddy. Yeah. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> that was a lot. Uh oh. Oh. Nope. He's still there. I don't wanna die. That was not a good idea. Was that a... I took way more damage out of this than he did. Is there something like a death from above mechanic in there now? And I just accidentally death from above myself into him? There's so much stuff happening here. Hello. Alright, his leg is down. Oh, that's good. All guns on shared target. My mechs look like trash. All of them. Can we even destroy that Shadowhawk? We will see in a second. But as I was saying, I think 30 is my sweet spot. That is a 40 rated mission. This is way too much. Target acquired. I don't care about that stinger. Copy on oh, guys, you still have weapons. Come on, do it. Do it now. They're not shooting. 
I don't know why, but they are not shooting their weapons. You do, you do go away from me. I don't want you here. Huh. Yeah, not good. I'm not happy. Can't do anything. Not cool. So, at the very least, we got the side torso of that guy down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CT jump jet down. Oh, the center is flashing. Now we're making progress, guys. Finally! Yeah, we did it! Look at the hot pile of garbage that our mechs are right now. It's gonna cost us so much. Not worth it. Yeah, there goes the sand. Sand is down! You know what, I'm already going into the evac zone direction. Because as soon as we got the wasp down, if we even get it down... Yeah, he should eject now, technically. Punching out, come on. Yo, fine. Let's get the hell out of here. What a mission, everybody! What a mission! I am not entirely sh I, I have to adjust to what is going on on the battlefield. I cannot play Merc Tech as I was playing the regular game. It's not possible. Completely different meta game here. We need more damage over time, cold damage over time that we constantly shoot. And our friends need to shoot more often. I don't know why they didn't shoot their weapons. Were they hot? Maybe. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right, but hey, we learned something, and that's good. I don't mind learning a new game. This is what I am super excited about, to actually see what's going on, and then adapt and figure out a plan to actually overcome the hurdles that the game is throwing into my into my way. So, it is perfectly fine for me. Right, we got a laser and another laser, tier 2 both. That's a lot of stuff. So everything is cored, correct? It very much seems like it, yeah. I will take the Hawk. I will take the Hunchback. This is very good value. I need to kind of fix my, my Siebel balance somehow. I think I'm just taking Max. And yeah, rightly so. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We killed some javelins. We're gonna get that SRM4 now. Oh, no, LRM5, actually, but that's good. But now, And the other thing that we got is kill three Igor units. That gives us a Zippo. That's not really that interesting. But hey, we got something done. This looks very bad. <laughs> but hey, guys, we got 11 million Seabills. Maybe we just go somewhere. We're gonna buy um, another mech that is in good condition from the store. But that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.